The Gunners Podcast. All right, people, welcome back to another episode of the Gunners Podcast. Thank you so much for trusting my friend Dicanio with his past video. And if you're here from that, welcome to our channel. You're on the best Arsenal and Jamaica channel on YouTube. Oh, Anyways, yeah. 5 0. 5 0. Kai Hubbard's goal. All the great things in life. Kai, welcome again. And yes, bro. Mm. Let's get right into it. Before we do, though, um, as you guys are seeing down below, I'm going to start bringing it in on ears. We have a goal to reach. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, follow us at 876Gunners on Instagram and TikTok. And if you want to support the channel, do so by buying us a coffee. The link is below in the description. So, yeah, Burnley versus Arsenal. Match review and player ratings. Let's head right into it. Curry, you want me to hear about your thoughts on the game? Um, I could get used to this. So, <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm not sure if it's, I, I wasn't a fan of the away kit at first, but, I mean, it's starting to look very attractive now. A classic. Um, yeah, man. So, still harsh on the eyes, but I, there was, there wasn't anything not to like in this performance. Mm. Dylan? Um, no, it was just, you know, I used to dream of days like this. So when I said some point, I said, it's just pure thump, I get thump up. Um, and now, look at us, dog, like, two games back to back. Like, I was, I think when it was like 2-0, I was just like, watch how we're going to concede now. I was like, general, like, it's too good to be true. We're barely going forward back, like, we're not going to get the, the record, but mm. now, nah, bro, we just kept the composure. Odegaard was superb. Um, Saka was sublime. His right foot is better than Foden's career. Um, <laughs> Martinelli still, still, still needs a goal, but you know it's coming. Um, but no, just overall, Trussard, Trussard should not get benched for until, until he's tired, bro. Like, Trust him. Jesus cannot start over Trussard. I'm sorry, like his record is, I think, in nine games. No, in 10 games, no, we'll win nine and draw one, right? And I think, I don't remember how much goals scored, but, bro, Trussard at the nine is a truth, bro. And just what Havertz can do, what Martinelli can do, the passes, the... the I think I could have get it. to see. So, mm. yeah, bro, like, overall, it was just a really good game, and I'm so happy. Holy. Um, so yeah, let's head right into player ratings then. David Raya, um, Dylan, same, same time. Uh, I'd give him a, a seven and a half. It's it's like seven, seven around there. It wasn't like you never do nothing over the top, but the long throws, bro. Like the man throw a long throw and it just reach a man's foot on the wing, bro. It, it like the ping passes, everything, bro. It just it's getting more and more consistent and you know i just love to see it like that that was just it made a good save um that i didn't really expect him to make um left footed shot yeah that feel like one that would just go in and then it's like you know i'm still dealing with my ptsd you know so like you know just go in and then it's five one and then we say oh i'll make some excuse for him but yeah bro he stood tall there so yeah. All right, Karim, another clean sheet for him. Yeah. Um, I'd stick with our seven. I mean, it, other than other than the shot, he didn't have much to do. So, I think this is a game where is you more look at his attacking output rather than you know being a goalkeeper. Mm. All right, that's Arsenal with ten clean sheets now. The nearest are Liverpool and Everton with eight. So, yeah, bro, defense are all up. Um, so over to Jakob, Karim. So um, he was actually one of my standout performers. So behind, we'll get to them, behind Odegaard and Saka. But he um, he has improved massively. Um, oh, let me give him a, a rating. I'd give him an eight. So he was he was solid. Um, his, his attacking output has also improved. So... Mm. All right, Dylan. Bro, I think defensively he looked he looked like he stood out today, bro. 
Okay, my dude, I don't know the last time the man get dribble pass like that, like, you know, like dribble pass in like dangerous areas. Like the way he was shepherding people, like he's gaining confidence. I know what's crazy, it's just like everybody, we knew that he was here to be Gabriel's backup. But yet he has, I feel like how much minutes has he played as left centre back? Like barely any, right? So it's just like the fact that he's versatile, play right centre back, left back. Um, not inverting, which is good for him, you know, right now. As his confidence builds up, you know, he can start inverting, but not yet. But, yeah, bro, another masterclass by Arteta and a great curve. Sure. Who was inverting this match, right? Yeah. Wait. Not really. Mm-hmm. Kind of. But not. Uh, let's say all about him then, Curry. Yeah. Um. So, he was, I think he did a decent job in the, the somewhat inverted role. Um. He, so I think his normal antics and corners also help to kind of unsettle Burnley as well. Um, I'd, I'd also give him a 7.5. 7.5. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, center work partnership. Brick wall. Dylan. Um, center work partnership was good today. They, they didn't really do anything um, <laughs> that stood out. Like... Uh, like Burnley had no by the time them reach Kivior and reach Ben White, who was really good in the one v one today. That yeah. attack was almost done. It's just Saliba. Just I feel like he gets bored and he just really runs. He runs to like you know like say yo let me let me just go in midfield and just take out a man real quick and then mm. you know oh loose ball there. You know I don't get a touch in a while. You know like when you're playing PE and you don't get a touch in a while, so he doesn't run on a man so you can't get. Touch off for the ball. Yeah, bro. That, that was basically mm-hmm. them. So, yeah, I think 7.5. All right. Um, Curry, anything on the defenders? Yeah, man. So, there, there was a moment um, with Saliba when he was going against Fafana. Uh, and it's like, so they were they were battling as well for a while. And it's, it's almost like a psychic kind of um, communication that took place. So... As soon as so Fafana got the better of him, but as soon as he got out of that, both Kivir and Gabriel were just, just 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 waiting exactly at that at that location. So, um, yeah, man, there it's it's really nice to see them play together. Okay, so. Um, mm, so, I mean, Saka, not Saka, sorry, Saliba was not quite, I think as at his best that he can be so he wouldn't get as much as as gabriel but i mean it's a clean sheet so for gabriel i would say another seven and a half and for saliba i'd put a seven all right um in the midfield killer kai um and declan rice both of them Karim. um standard declan rice eight is i mean yeah, he didn't. There wasn't anything that he did that really stood out, but it's it's all the things I've come to expect from him or that we have, we have noticed from him this season. Um, Havertz, however, so um, I think Havertz kind of created a chance that led to the second goal. So he passed it into the yeah man. I, yeah, I think he so he got the pass from Odegaard, created the second chance. Um, when yeah, he, he, it. he kicked it on the guy, and the ball luckily bounced again. That's why that's why I'm going in this group and saying, "Yo, it's just chaos." Like that's all he is. I don't understand how. I don't understand how he gets so much lucky bones. I know I'm in my Germany kick today, but it's just pure lucky bones and luckiness that how many run with another. Like Wait. even the not make today, you can't tell me so that no lucky. Not lucky. Well, okay, so no, so that so so the fourth no, goal. Ah, no, got you, got you. Yeah, the fourth, the fourth goal is a, or whichever goal can't have to square. That was a, that's a strange goal to see. But in terms of, so from what I saw, at least he was the one who did it. So from what I saw, he, if it wasn't him, it might not have happened. So whether it's lucky or or what, but it actually happened for him. Um, for his for Harvard's rating, I'd give a eight, but. The the goal which he scored is like it was so strange. I was seeing it in slow motion. It's like he was moving in slow. I don't even know if he meant to 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 sell at the guy. I don't know. It was just a strange, strange goal to see. But 
All, all the same. I'm glad he scored. Holy. Bro, bro me, me do, da, give the man little props, lad. The man is a professional footballer at the end of the day. No? The man take the ball from a chore, dribble, shoot the ball to your man foot and bag it with him right foot. You see me? No, but bro. No, shut up and listen to me, I say. If I did Suarez, I see Suarez score a goal like that already. And everybody, oh, no, I'm going to kill her, this and that. And just because Aver is going to do the same thing. I look, he's running a slow motion. They are Burnley. Blah, blah. Better allow him one dog and give him one props, bro. Because <laughs> no player in the Premier League going to see a score them goal. So just give him no, one props. You know, and I'm no, no, no. But the man is just chaos. He's like Nunes. Bro, the man is literally like Darren Nunes when I watch him, bro. Like, the man is just... He runs into the exact spaces. Like, you can see Arteta in his mind, bro. Like, oh, I'm supposed to be here now. Like, I'm supposed to drop back here. Or oh, defensive head, I need to put it, like, exactly right there, sir. Oh, the guard can do this. Oh, wall pass. Boom. Oh, the guard gets it. Back. Bro, it's like everything is so scripted. And it just feels chaotic to me, bro. Like, because I feel like Mikhail's mind is chaotic. Like, imagine a Mikhail training session, bro. Like, it just must be so much organized chaos. Like, you know, bro. Like, yeah, but no, bro, it's a good goal. It's a solid goal. Xhaka is never doing that. Xhaka exactly. is never, never doing that. Um, you know, I think it's because he's so, because I'm height, maybe because I'm height and I'm stature, and I guess how he carries himself. That's maybe, to me, that's why it kind of looks weird when you, <clears throat> when you see him kind of break out and sell out somebody and, and then take a shot. So, yeah. All right, uh, Martin. Gary. Um, for me, for me, for me, he's a man of match, so um, that was a that was a nine out of ten performance from from Odegaard. So, I mean, the first goal is the first goal is a peach, it's it's a typical Odegaard goal, granted. I mean, to catch it on the bounce and then try that is. It takes a level of composure and audacity. So there is that. But everything else he created. So I think I read a stat where he's like behind just Fabregas and, and Ozil in terms of chance creation. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, man. He's Insane. well deserved. That must mean we just have a lot of crap players. 37 minutes per chance created. That was a stat. Um mm. Yeah, just behind those two. Rating, yes, it was a much nine, nine and a half. Nine. Nine. All right. Um, the landing. Uh, I'm actually going to get some more stern in my ratings because of Karim's outlook on life. And that's unless we win the Me. <laughs> Premier League or Champions League, players don't get a rating of 10. Um, but I'd give him a solid 8.5 today. The man was electric. Um, and yeah, like he, that, that goal is crazy. And it was a Martinelli assist. So I'm like, Martinelli didn't. He get never it. get it, you know? No, no he didn't get it. Why? FPL didn't he get it. FPL never gave him. Or they said it was a deflection. No, bro. It, it, he they, said it it. they said it was a deflection. They said it was a deflection. It's a deflection, but when I see it, dog. Bro, they're so bad, man. Right, I'm gonna watch over a replay how much time I'm gonna see a deflection, but man, may I say that? What? But I don't think you can appeal. You can appeal that, right? Of course, you can appeal. But can... if camera angles, they're... yeah, dog. You need to appeal. They more credibility in them league, so it might not give any nine moment, but if it really happened, then they're supposed to give it. So, yeah, make we see. But as of now, he is not giving the assist. I don't know why. Well, I know why, but. Where they must say no match you don't mean see. So you can't continue. Oh, it was me? Yeah, you would like. Talk about who? Yeah, they are talking about um Odegaard. Odegaard. No, I'm talking about Martinelli. Martinelli. No man. Uh, yeah, no, but I don't really have much else to say about Martinelli. The man is just incredible, dog. Like, like the man the man looks like the the football was born on his foot, bro. And it's just it's just incredible to see the body feels. The eye for a pass, his control on his left foot. Just he needs whoever is Saka's right foot training coach needs to give it. You need to give it to other guy. But yeah, solid. What could he have done to get the nine instead of the eight point five for you? I mean, it's just a goal analysis. 
but come on, that man, please. Just, no, it's not just. Is I I'm telling you, I'm becoming more stern in my rating system. <laughs> No, if, I, if I can give a nine, you can give a nine. No, that therefore I need to evolve. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. So yeah, we're gonna get the rating there. Um Martinelli, what could pick up from him, Karim? Um all right, so I am I'm living in a world where Martinelli has his assist, so I am giving Martinelli a eight. Um it's so one one thing which I keep is it's like it bothers me about Martinelli. Not not seriously though, but why does he never look up when he's dribbling? I mean, is the is a it's just a it's 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 a bit inconsequential, but I feel like I don't mean, know if it's affecting his game in any way, shape or form. Not to say it's affected it today. Um yeah, he had a he had a solid game overall. So I think he was unlucky. Hmm? But I think Arteta kind of find a way to like make that be a positive thing. Because if you meant it, when Martinelli get the ball, most times he might look for go down the line. And when you have a player that's that direct, you have soccer, you have only about players where like on the field and look up, I dribble with them head up, I look for chances, I look for this. But then when you have a player that's just so direct and him I go do one thing. That make a whole lot of players around him can just feel that they know what gonna happen. They know them can expect a cup back here. They know so them can expect this. So yeah, you know, I think Arteta, I think he used to be a problem. Cause I remember say Arteta never really liked certain things with him back then. Him be dip on the bench all he could have cuss him. But then I think Arteta kind of find a way for fuel it and turn it into something to uh, help the team out more. Cause we now nobody direct like him, just meds it. We literally now nobody direct like that, brother. So Reese Nelson. Reese Nelson. Yeah, but yeah, but Reese Nelson is still not a Martinelli dog. Like if Reese Nelson we do it, I'm gonna tell you. Reese Nelson we do it against some big idiot side. But in terms of him, I don't get as much chances, but him not have the elite level of directness that we want to have. He not drive fear in our opponents. What purpose say that? When, when, well, when people are yeah. saying that he might be the fastest player in the Premier League, so who that every time they're on the commentary, and yeah, Kyle really. Walker say he's one of the only ones up there, so yeah. And Trussard do one one interview, what he, he dropped on YouTube, they ask him who's the fastest player in a trade, and man said, I'm Martinelli, but yeah, dog, maybe yeah, Nelson as direct as him, but he just have an extra edge, bro, isn't it? So. Yeah, the great team. For Martin Ali? Yeah, eight. Eight. All right. Um, and then up top, we had Trossim. Curry. Um, I would give him a seven. No, I give I give him a 7.5. It feels it feel a bit unfair to give him 7.5 and give Martin Ali eight, given he also scored. Um... But yeah, there's a there's a bit of inevitability about um Trussard when it comes to him taking a shot and trying to finish a chance. Um <laughs> it, there is, there is. What do you mean? No, but look at the kind of space. Better seven point five right. dog. Oh, what kind of meds are you tell you will later trust him in a you you know, trust him on dog. <laughs> Seven point five, dog. All right. So, reason why I mark him down, there was one. I think it was, yeah, it was him. There was one chance where, like, total water knee, he fluffed, he like him swing and complete miss. So, win a penalty, crucial yeah. double for go up. The man score a wicked man piece. I left if, if you watch the game, you're a bit frustrated. The man, no, but yeah, what I'm gonna watch the full game. I never Easy. watch a full Easy. shut up. I never watch a full game of watch Fossa. You see me? Watch Fossa. He should have had a hat trick. Yeah, he should yeah. have. He should have he easily man, had a hat trick now. Like, I'm not. He, I'm man, not, he man Saka could have had a hat trick. No, the man should have had a hat trick today. Easy. Like this, this. Trust like me. Last week, Saka yeah. should have had a hat trick or four. We score five. 
him get a goal and him win a penalty, brother, in a crucial moment. Which was the yeah. worst penalty I've seen in a man, while. Man, that's not a penalty still in a big man. Oh, that's... A dive, him dive. To trust him? <laughs> yeah. Me no, I'm not talking dive. about trust how him get the penalty. Bro, we're overdue getting penalties, bro. No, nah, but, but that's a dive to me, you know, I think about that. Man, I'm going to see contact. Probably. Probably. Bro, but, man. all right, so there, there was, there was, a, there was, there was an earlier chance where I think he was he had a one on one with the keeper. I thought he would have I thought he would have buried it. Um oh, there's the other one where he, Yeah, there's the next one where he fluffed his shot. Um he had a, he had a few. So I actually had kind of put it out as man that he was going to score, but then he then shows up with the left foot finish. So that's what I say it's like he's going to find a way eventually. Granted, I would want uh I would want somebody a bit more clinical. All right, no, well, I just watched it back. I don't even know, but I think it's the way him roll over and then look at the referee. It kind of smooth still. I feel like that's why I get it. Bro. Oh, oh, pause it, so. More while you need for us to take that out on the mind. Dog. Holland is a clinical striker, though. You just said yeah, that, did, bro. What did you want him today? Him today bro? Look at Holland today. No, clear no, I'm not going to. You have clear oh, good chances. Clear cut chances, bro. I think he had what, like nine shots? Yeah, yeah, man. You see me? We can't always say this dog. Just look on the man game and look what him do. All right, it's he never do this, but at the end of the day, we win with five goals. Him score one with a penalty. That I want him do. You see me? We, we have to judge what he never do if the game did tighter. But in a game like this, dog, you have so much how much games you see in a Premier League history where a team are gonna be scoring eight goals every week. I scored all of them chances and what them get. But we score five, so we could satisfy and up in a dog. But I'm a mark down the man dog. Come on, brother. Even Alan has scored all of them chances, brother. You see me? Right. Yeah, me a rate trusted. Don't you can take suck a rating. Me a rate trusted and me a give the man 8.5. No, stop, 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 he cannot get a higher rating than Don't tell China. me that. Don't tell me that. The man do more than Martinelli. Don't tell me that. Saka. He didn't do more than Havertz. We are that at one rate Havertz. Me a rate Saka. He must Saka trust Me a rate trust her. When give Martinelli a 8, me a give trust 8.5. Let's go. Well, okay. Saka. Based off that question now, that's fine. But not Saka. Bro, Saka, bro. The man was... Bro, that's the most girl penalty I've ever seen, bro. The man kicked that just, bro. Like the way him kick it, just not, bro. Him should I get taken off penalty duty for that, bro? Bro, did you see his penalty? I'm hearing it's a weakness though. Trafford weak on him left side. Um, so if you notice, the team kind of target him left side when they man kick today. Um, so if you made it, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but overall, like Trussard kicked to him left. Remember Trussard. Odegaard, Odegaard square, left him. side. Saka kicked the penalty to him left, even the one really in favorite. But that in a way. Um, yeah, so this side is a weak, weak side for him. So bro, I think that's the reason why I'm kicking it so, so calm. There. So I must say. Bro, just gingerly, bro. When I want, I want to see penalty, like hurricane penalty, bro. Just a, yeah, bro, I want to hear the net, bro. So you can't satisfy Jamaican people, brother. Yeah, it's true though. Let's just, oh, let's just point out that let's just point out that Saka has won more trophies than Hurricane. All right, That's fully, fully. Man, I bring Kane in this, and Kane literally brings Spurs, Juju, Ghana, Bayern. Don't bring up a man name in this bad man. You say he man die a Ghana, Bayern. He man never no, put a one cup. Bro, like his penalty. All I said. Hello, me for banter Spurs, little na dog. He man never knock out a knock out Bayern out a cup. The man them eight points behind a buyer in Liverpool them now. And the man bought for Sheg up Kingsley Coman. Perfect record of winning a league title in every professional season he's had. Now you know how much level of goosey affair for figure something like that, brother? Come on, dog. The man, right, imagine them are the only Spurs player we left from Spurs in a dog. And actually go do foolishness in a dog. Every other Spurs player left go Spurs and actually do something, you know. They could can banter Spurs more and say they my problem, you know. But them better, yeah, dog. Them give yeah, you a but he's so crazy that he just brought it with him. Exactly. Man, bring it with him the time, yeah, dog. 
Yeah, but that's that's a love scene. But look at all the other Spurs players that left. Exactly. Yeah. He's not that Spursy, bro. Exactly, dog. But Everybody has left go with so. at all. So you see me. But yeah, bro. Um suck him. Saka deserves a nine, bro. Yeah. That's right footed goal, bro. You just 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 tell you, bro. That's not bro, bad. the way the man wet it, bro. Bro, I was I was like, wow. But I mean other guys' goal is like that as well. Okay. All right. I I can't see it. Other guy gets the nine as well. Or they gotta have them low drivers sitting at the Kareem Saka. Yeah, man, I agree with the nine. All right, man. Substitutions. Bro, um, all right, right. no man. All right, so uh, hold on, no, no. I uh, planned out a whole thing about what to say with the substitutions. <laughs> Why is Cedric Suarez on the football pitch in February 2024? He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't. He didn't do anything wrong. But why is he on the pitch? Why not? We're paying his wages. Exactly. He's a nice little okay. safe for the club. So then just give him minutes. Yeah, PM wage for real, brother. I bet you give him some minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for I, the I, highlights. I, the man is the best celebration we have in the club. If that is one thing the man going to celebrate with people. So he got a clean sheet. The two times he played this season is two or three. The three times. How much, how much years left for him contract? It'll go up. Yeah, I think him leaving summer. Oh, for that then. <laughs> Man, I would take it's my point have, exactly. It's my point exactly. Going on next year where you could have a plane for people to see him or something like that. Uh, no, so exactly then. Like him, him have no future. Why is he? What? Some there is. I'm sure he could find some random youth in the academy. Walters. Who could have played? Yeah, exactly. Oh wow. Well, June twenty twenty four. All right, that's it for the subs. Anything else? Um, no, but that's it's just it's just I had that one thing to say about Cedric, but um, bro, the subs are I mean, so dead, bro. They're so so dead, just like the last match. Smith, yeah, Rocky, um, absolutely nothing. Enketia, Enketia had a Enketia, Enketia moment. He was um, a man, he was a man, a ball, and almost conceded. My seat in the damn, yes, look on the big idiot boy, and that I'm eating him and turn blind, so dog. The man don't know what it be and I mean, the man want to turn this or go lose my ball, dog. Some hurted things like that make people just have to disgrace the man more while, brother. Bro, but where was one area? Maybe them doing some... Or no, man, he was injured. Oh, really? So, yeah, like he didn't he didn't make the bench or something like that. So him and somebody else. Mazu, Shkeli, and Walters never make it. I don't know who the hell James Sweet and Bandiri... Bandaria. Nah, man, like if, them, 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 if them get if them get them uh, debut before Walters and and freaking Louis Kelly, I tell to lose him work. Man, like Vera, them last half I face our team, brother. The man was supposed to fall, but he spoke about him in press conference. Yeah. All right, uh, manager rating. Karim. Ten. Ten. Ah, got you, Dylan. First. Nine. <laughs> Okay, sorry, man. I don't know, but what else was Mikel supposed to do? Like, oh, sorry for Cedric. My apologies. Mm. Should I should have played El Nene right back. Ramsey. Make it all in bird. <laughs> man, say yes. <laughs> but El Nene not a future either. Yeah, man. Oh, oh no, no, no. El Nene have a role. El Nene is the, Hi, the team counselor or something. El Nene knows that, so he's probably going to get a one year extension just because of that. Him bro, I do not want to sell many at the club next season, bro. Him done getting one year extension, man. Him, he, he done film this season, man. Um, but yeah, that's it for the Burnley match. Let's head right over into the Newcastle game we have next weekend. Hot match. But it's at the Emirates, and we have revenge on the cards. And one thing with me, I'm confident with the team here whenever revenge is on the cards. So, yeah, I'm predicting I'm two mil victory. Karim? Um, two one. I I feel like some guy. No, no. There, there's going to be some. Some. It's going to be a manic game. So I'm thinking a two one. Two one. All right. Um, they land them. I'm not sure actually. It depends. They have a lot of injuries, don't they? Um, 
But the one thing about Newcastle these days, they're conceding a lot of goals. They're not as defensively solid. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. Um, yeah, bro, if we can't lose to them, bro, with all these injuries, Joe Linton, Willock, Anderson, Wilson, Isaac, Target, Pope, Tonali. Well, he's not injured. <laughs> um, yeah, bro. And then Murphy, him show the good pop out again. Mm. Yeah, bro. They don't, they don't even have a striker right now. No Wilson and no Isaac? No Wilson, no Isaac. Garden up there. Yeah, Garden yeah, playing a striker. Mm. And Isaac, no, maybe Isaac might forward, but but not sure. You well, when it was this season, that's crazy. Anyways, yeah, bro. I I just don't see, I don't see us being able to lose this game. Mm. But I say, uh, Gordon, if anybody's to score, I think it will be Gordon. And I'm thinking it's like a three-one, but I'm thinking three 0 to the rest of. <clears throat> All right, cool. Um, well, yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, follow us at 876 Gunners on Instagram and TikTok and buy us a coffee. The link is below in the description. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Peace. They got Gunners Podcast. The Gunners Podcast.